back to the vlog. I'm here with Kaylin. It is Monday. We are just starting to finish up for the day. It's really, really sunny in New York. So we're kind of having one of those evenings where we want to just finish on time and get out and yeah, just enjoy it. The time just changed on Saturday. So now we have like an extra hour of like brightness in the evening, which is so nice. But anyway, I want to just start off the vlog and kind of tell you what is in store this week. So first of all, in my last vlog, I promised I would vlog more this week and just kind of bring you more throughout the week. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm also going to put kind of a focus on like fitness. So I have been getting a lot of questions because I got into really good routines this year and I've just really like switched up my whole mindset about fitness and just really found things I like and enjoy doing and now they've kind of become just part of my routine and it just seems normal so to kind of answer all the questions in one video I figured it would be the easiest and I'm gonna bring you with me throughout the week and show you like my exact like a typical fitness routine for me for like a full week so I'll probably vlog up until Saturday I usually work out like five sometimes six times a week which might seem like a lot but you'll see throughout the week that some workouts aren't even that long it's just more like for my mind to actually do a workout in the day and then I always take at least one like rest day so I'll bring you throughout the week I'll show you what I do I'll show you the workouts I've been doing I'll talk you through them why I love them which ones I think have been really making a difference and yeah you might get some ideas and just to say as well like I don't work out like personally for me I don't work out to get skinnier to lose weight I never weigh myself I don't count calories I'm not I'm never doing it for that like side of it I do it to just feel more toned and like to feel stronger and just overall to have more energy that's like my number one favorite part about working out like it really gives me more energy but i will say the first few weeks i got into the routine i was wrecked and everyone was like don't worry you'll get it gets better it gets easier the energy comes after a few weeks and that's very true so if you're starting working out and you're like why am i so tired like Erica said that it was going to give me energy. It does take time, but overall, after a couple of weeks, it makes such a difference. And I started kind of doing this properly on January 5th when we got back to New York. And today is March 9th. So two full months I've like stuck with it. And I've definitely seen results. I did actually take before pictures, but I don't know if I would have the guts to to share that in this video but we'll see maybe at the end of the video like as the week goes on i'll see if i'll share them and i took a picture i think like last week so that would have been about the eight week mark so yeah i definitely personally saw a difference just more like in definition and tone and i don't know i just feel stronger like and i feel fitter like when i go to boxing classes now or if i do pilates it's just the best feeling to be able to like finish a rep or finish like a section and not be absolutely wrecked <laughs> basically and just to be able to do it because I was very fit growing up like I played every sport under the sun football like Gaelic football in Ireland I played basketball I did like running sprinting like I was really fit and I, that's just the way I was always used to being then I moved to New York in my 20s went out loads like worked very like two jobs long hours didn't make time and didn't make fitness a priority so i think i just came back this year and i was like i want to get back to the way i was like i really enjoy being fit and feeling fit so that's why i kind of like plunged into it this year and i have to say i've just been loving it so much and i wish i started sooner so I'm hoping this video might give you a bit of inspiration if you need that push we've all been there I've been there the hardest part is starting so maybe like seeing some of my workouts what I do or like some things I'm eating I'll try and show you some meals I'm eating I've been having like a very similar breakfast every morning I kind of stick to that I stick to a few similar dinners that I make I make lots of soups and salads for lunches so yeah, I can kind of show you. I won't show you everything because the video will be too long, but I'll, I'll show you throughout the week if there's anything interesting. Or even when I eat out, I'll show you like the things I order if we do eat out. And yeah, I thought it'd be interesting. And then just in case you're not into fitness or food or any of that, I'm going to vlog other things in like the week as well throughout the week. We have events and shoots and all the usual stuff. So yeah, that was a very, very long intro. 
I'm sorry, but hopefully that will give you a bit of an insight of what's to come in this video. And yeah, it should be fun. So this evening, did I mention this? I feel like when I'm talking for so long, I can't remember what I said, but this evening I'm gonna actually go to the gym. That's gonna be today's workout, just the gym in my building upstairs. We have a gym on our kind of rooftop area and it has like a yoga room and like all the weights and machines and everything. So it's really handy. It was like one of the main reasons we, moved into the building because obviously it's great to have it upstairs so I'm going to go to the gym myself later and I'll show you what I'm doing but before that we're actually going to walk across Brooklyn Bridge or at least some of it it's such a nice day in New York like it's really really sunny so we've kind of been planning all day what we're going to do this evening it's just a shame to stay inside and do nothing and I'm also very into getting my 10,000 steps every day that's been another big change i made this year and even though it's like kind of a small silly goal it actually has made such a difference like just having that little aim every day like it adds up and all that extra steps is just getting you fitter and stronger and yeah i've just loved it so i want to make sure i get my 10,000 steps <laughs> so i'm going to go for a walk and then i'll do the gym and that's today's kind of fitness plan. So I'm gonna grab a jacket now. Kaylin just got home to change into runners. We're gonna walk across the bridge and I'll definitely vlog that too because it's gonna be a really nice sunset. Tourists. 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 Tourists.
that's usually fine and then I just put it into the fridge that's why like I don't ever really show this because it's nothing like obviously you can do other things you can put protein and seeds and everything but but I like to put all my seeds on in the morning I'll show you now in the morning how I'll kind of like finish this so I'll add almond butter and seeds and coconut flakes and everything but just for the night before this is all I do and then you just pop it in here and it's ready to go in the morning oh and I always always make sure that it's unsweetened because if you get the sweetened one there's so much like hidden sugars and it's just not that good for you so if you can get the unsweetened just back from rumble i went to the seven o'clock class this morning with kayla and my sister so just home it was really good but the hard thing about rumble is i really can't like show you much because like a it's really dark in there and i don't know i just kind of feel weird putting my camera no one really has their phones with them in there but it's really good it's in tribeca you do like three rounds of boxing then you go to the floor and you do like strength so abs weights for your arms like it's really really good kind of like cardio then you go back to the bags for two more rounds of boxing and then back to the floor for like the last two kind of like hit rounds so it's usually like abs and then like a real fast hit one at the very end to kind of really put you over <laughs> the edge but i really like it i've been doing it now since the very beginning of january i try and go like twice a week and i fully think it has made the most difference like i think pilates i love as well and you'll see me doing that throughout the week but i think just to kind of really get fit rumble is great so yeah definitely try it if you're in new york and i'm sure there's other um similar ones in other places too now i'm gonna have my breakfast and i will talk to you more about rumble um probably when i go on friday again i'll try and film a bit more when i'm there just to kind of show you it can be a little bit daunting but honestly, once you get used to it, it's great. Actually, I almost forgot. I'm clearly half asleep, but before I have my breakfast, I have to take my, oh, please, I have some left. Oh, I do. So I take probiotics. Um, so I take this actually a half an hour before I eat. So I'm gonna take this, shower, put on the kettle, and then come back and I'll have my oats. And then I always do, oh, why aren't you focusing? And then I always have green tea with my oats to start the day, so probiotic shower come back and then i'll have breakfast okay. finally breakfast time so this is what i have i have my oats which i soaked overnight i put in blueberries coconut flakes almond flakes and then also some almond butter so very simple sometimes i do chia seeds like pumpkin seeds things like that but this is just what i feel like this morning and then i do a big cup of green tea with the lemon and this typically is my breakfast like every weekday morning and then i will switch it up at the weekends i'll do like healthy pancakes or just eggs or something different but monday to friday this is like my routine Good morning, it is the next day and I was actually so annoyed at myself. I went to an event last night, a dinner event, and I was gonna vlog all the food and what I ate, but I forgot my camera. And then it was kind of like a weird light, so my phone, the footage just wasn't coming out nice, but I'll pop in a picture. Um, this other girl did have a light, so I took a picture while she was shining it. So I got the halibut, it was, oh my God, it was so nice. And then it was actually an Irish event, it's an Irish owned hotel, so they had brown bread and oh, it was so delicious. So I was actually pretty healthy even at the event. And that's what I kind of wanted to talk about because in this job, like I do go to a lot of like events and there's drinks and there's food and there's snacks and sometimes it can be hard but it really is just all about like 
choosing like the nice things but just also kind of thinking okay what like will be the healthiest option and the fish was so delicious and then there was cheesecake and of course i had a bit of cheesecake i didn't have the whole thing i brought it home to tommy because he loves cheesecake as well so i brought half home for him i had half and oh it was so good i'm definitely going back for that cheesecake but anyway it is now the next day i'll just show you what i'm wearing i'm kind of casual so very casual and a rare sighting of me in runners. I actually don't wear runners a lot, um, but I'm gonna walk up to Soho, so I just wanna be comfy. I'm going to meet my friend Kat. We're gonna grab a coffee. She's my friend, she's also a blogger. Um, I've known her for years and years. When I first moved to New York, I used to always follow her. And then she moved to LA and then she came back to New York. So we've kind of been like back in touch and we're actually supposed to go on a trip together at the beginning of April. But but I actually don't know if it's going to be cancelled now um, with everything that's going on. So we figured we'd catch up over coffee anyway today. So I'll bring you with me. I'm going to walk up to Soho. It's nice. It's sunny. I think it's like pretty warm. So I think I'll be okay with the blazer. I'm just going to bring my Dior bag over this. Um, it'll kind of spruce it up. It's about a 20 minute walk. So I'll get my steps in. My daily goal of 10,000 and yeah it should be nice and then when I come back actually we today's workout it's kind of like an unusual time on Wednesdays but we're working out at three o'clock with Lindsay who comes to my building once a week on Wednesdays and she does matte pilates with me and Kaylin my sister and it's honestly my favorite workout of the week so I'll come back do a bit more work and then I'll be going upstairs to work out with her and I'll definitely film some of that <laughs> Back home again. I am definitely that person now that as soon as I come in the door, I literally spend five minutes washing my hands, disinfecting all the things I've had. Because even though I walked there, so I didn't touch anything on the way. That's why I've been walking to. But then, like when you get to the cafe, you're handing over your credit card they're touching it you know small things like that so yeah just did that but while i was doing that i popped in my soup um so it should be heated up i don't love using the microwave i'm not gonna lie but for days that i just heat up the soup it's pretty handy so this soup is the one you saw me making the last day so carrot sweet potato butternut squash onion turmeric and I'm gonna pop some pepper on top. I think that's everything. I'll try and write it down anyway down below just in case you want to make it It's so good. We're very fussy about our soups now and like when we do make a bad one, we're like, oh So kind of disappointed, but this one's good. Very very orange, but it's honestly so tasty so filling This will keep me going now until dinner at about six or seven Yeah Definitely recommend the soup maker lunch dawn and I'm just working on a video that's going live today it is my Olay video, which I'm very really excited to put live. So I think that's the video before this one. So just in case you missed it, it's all about like my trip to a dermatologist and kind of like doing a skin check, but not my face, like my body or body skin, which a lot of us forget about. So I'll link that down below in case you missed it. But now it's time to work out. <laughs> it can be kind of tricky to do this time. But this is the time that suits Lindsay, which is like totally understandable because she teaches all over the place. So um, we work around her schedule as well. So I'm gonna go upstairs now work out with her And I'm gonna bring my camera and my tripod and just try and film like a few of the things we do She does amazing ab like sets. She does great bum uh, Exercises like she's brilliant and I truly believe she's like transformed my core especially she's made it so much stronger So I'll try and film if there's no one in the room fingers crossed because sometimes it can be busy But if I can I will.
to take an anti-humanity and to hover the fifteen screen hold. This kind of needs open and close for ten. For nine. Good. For eight. Seven. Good. Push up the shoulders. Yes. Five. Four. Three. Two. Lower the knees on the inhale. This time you're going to walk out into a high plank and back to that bare position so you're stepping back. later Tommy's home we made dinner we were too hungry I completely forgot to show you what we had but there I have a tiny bit left so I'll show you I'm actually surprised I even have some left because I usually finish every bit of my dinner um, but we made cauliflower crust pizza with spinach I did dairy-free cheese Tommy did regular cheese on his side tomatoes onions and yeah i think that's it it was actually really good so we had half of that each and then i also had some quinoa and a bit of a veggie burger sorry i didn't get to show you the full thing like i should have um but i'll pop a picture of the cauliflower crust base that i get here on the screen because it's so good and it's like pretty inexpensive as well we get it at trader joe's here in new york and i'm sure there's like loads of other brands that do it but i actually really like that one and it's like pretty easy to work with so we're just finished dinner we're actually going to head out for a quick walk because i don't have my 10,000 steps yet because it actually ended up being such a busy day um even though i walked to soho and back 
which is actually crazy like it's about 20 minutes walk 25 minutes walk i still haven't hit my 10,000, so i have to go out now and just get i'm only like a thousand off so i'm just gonna go for a quick walk with a fresh air but before we go let me show you what just arrived now this is definitely a break from the healthy talk because oh my god this is like my dream heaven like my heaven in a package uh cadbury sent me all these i think it's in collaboration with the paddy box um every flavor of dairy milk like oh my god i'm definitely having a square for a bit when i come back i think my favorite is mint crisp i love that what's that mm, not the biggest fan of that one no i'm not a turkish fan i know that's a very divided opinion oh this one caramel is my og favorite oh so good and then i do also like the crunchy one what's that called again whole nut not bad there's like is it golden crisp yeah golden crisp so good as well they're my favorites golden crisp mint chip and caramel so yeah just in case you think i'm healthy all the time no i am not i have such a sweet tooth and cadbury's is my favorite chocolate so definitely also be having some of that this week so anyway gonna go out now get our steps Ooh. Tommy's so excited to do so I'm forcing it to come he's like already had like 14,000 or how many do you have 10,000 no 11,000 11 he has 11 so he's already hit his target but we're gonna go for a quick stroll Okay, so it is now Saturday and since I saw you last on Wednesday in this vlog, a lot has happened, a lot has changed and I actually did think about just kind of scrapping this video and not putting it live this Sunday because obviously it was supposed to be my workout routine for a full week and then everything kind of changed Wednesday night. Like there was um, President Trump's announcement about the European travel ban ireland more or less went into a lockdown situation and honestly i woke up thursday morning and same on friday morning and i couldn't even think about picking up the camera i couldn't even think about working out like i couldn't think about anything so i did think about scrapping the video but then this morning i woke up and i just feel a lot calmer i think it's normal to have like a day or two of kind of worry i won't say it was panic because i don't think panic is helpful to anything and I don't think any of us should panic we should all keep as calm as possible so I definitely woke up this morning with just a different kind of view on things and I didn't want the first part of this video to go to waste because I think more than ever now <laughs> we all need to think about like at home workout options which I have included um, some options from already in this video and I'm going to talk about more now just before I finish so I figured I wanted to put it up and then I also included some food ideas and especially the soup maker now is the best time out of any to have the soup maker I've been making it non-stop even since Wednesday I made more on I think it was Thursday evening I like turmeric and ginger and all that good stuff for you like it, this is the time you need that we all need to make sure we're building up our immune systems in case fingers crossed none of us do but in case we like you know come in contact with the virus like we want to make sure that our immune system is as strong as possible so I just figured that the video would be hopefully helpful if any of you are watching so yeah it's been a weird weird couple of days obviously I'm staying inside as much as I can I'm getting out for walks like two three times a day because we live in New York apartments like we'll actually go crazy but I am limiting like any social outings cancelled all my events all my meetings i'm not going to workout classes i'm not going to gyms i know some people are but just personally for me i think it's too risky and i do not want to be the person that like possibly could pass this on to somebody else like you know i'm young i'm 28 i have a good chance of like fighting this if i did get it but you know i might meet someone in my building who's elderly pass it on to them 
or I might meet someone who is more vulnerable, has had cancer in the past. Like, I don't want to put myself in that position of ever passing it on to anyone. So I'm just making the decision of like staying in as much as possible. And I do urge if you can do it as well. Obviously not 100%. It's very hard, especially when we live in a apartment or I'm sure lots of you do as well. But just be mindful, that's all I'm saying. And other than that, keeping calm, keeping positive, and then fingers crossed, once everyone does their part and just does as much as they can possibly do, this will pass sooner than later and we'll get through it and we'll all be back to normal and we'll look back on this and hopefully sometime in the future we'll be able to look back at it and like breathe a bit better. Um, but for now, we just have to do everything that we can do and get through it. So I wanted to finish the video anyway. As I said, I wanted to share some good like at home workout options with you because obviously I won't be doing any classes and I haven't done any extra classes. So this video didn't fully go to plan, but I think in one way it's a good time for it because I can share some at home stuff. So I'm going to link all the apps and people I follow that like provide some workouts and all the options in the description box down below like a few that come to mind are Laura Dorgan Fitness she has an app Melissa Wood Health who, I, who I've mentioned already in the video Megan Roop my trainer Lindsay has stuff on her Instagram um there's loads the body coach does lots of free workouts on his youtube channel and even the girls i've mentioned with the apps like you do have to pay for some of the apps but a lot of them do like a free trial so you can do a trial for like seven days or 14 days and then if you do want to keep it on you can decide to pay then but at least it's a good way now while you're home while you're working from home, while you're trying to stay inside, it's a great way to like have some workouts to do every day. And they're not that long, you know, even if you in the day now, if you're at home, like go for a 30 minute walk and then come back and do like 30 minutes on one of these apps. And that's absolutely perfect. And by exercising and eating healthy, like that's going to build up your immune system and just like hopefully keep you as like healthy as possible. So I'll link all them down below. I'll write them all down and I'll put their links to their apps or their websites or whatever it is and hopefully that will help because I know it's a tricky time when you're used to going to your classes and you're used to going to the gym and you have your routine but it's just a time now to kind of readjust and you know do what you can do and make the most of the situation so I'm going to leave this video here I'm actually going to go for a walk now and then I'm and then I'm going to come back in and do one of the workouts on one of those apps. I probably will do it in my apartment. Like we do have that room upstairs, but I don't know. I still just don't feel 100% comfortable. So I'm going to set up a little workout area <laughs> to have here for the next week or however long it takes. I actually might even go buy a yoga mat. I don't think I have one. So I might go do that. I might go buy a yoga mat, go for a walk, and I'll be able to do my workouts here. Definitely let me know if there's other videos you want to see because I feel like a lot of us are inside right now and we might have a little bit of extra time to watch videos. So if there's anything in particular you want to see, let me know. Maybe even like working from home tips or something along those lines now that all our kind of routines have changed so don't be a stranger in the comments let me know i'll be back as usual with my wednesday video and then i'll have a video next sunday and then you know you never know i might have more time i might even do an extra video but i'll keep you updated and i'll also be posting on my instagram at retro flame and yeah so anyway thank you so much for watching be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video bye